Look at all these citizens that we could have within our city. Wouldn't you guys love to live in our city? Wouldn't you, little guy? You probably would. Well, scouts, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the city of Santo Domingo, located on the island of the Dominican Republic. Our ongoing progress has been uh, very well so far. Trying to get that into a time lapse. All this progress has been... It's its not easy. I'll tell you that much. That is why you never leave anything last minute or just don't show it. Always <laughs> always show your work. It's very important. That way you don't suffer in the end and try to cram it all in. You know. But 
in this episode, episode two, we have so far been working on the industrial district, which I am so far very, very, I mean, the entire island I'm super pleased with. Did I hit play? I hit play. There we go. <laughs> the entire island, I am super, I just don't want any, anyone to get in my city yet. I know I, no, but I know no one will get in my city. Because uh, there's really nothing zoned yet. But people do pass through at times. And the only way for them to get through right now is still through this one direction. Okay? Right now, there's no other connection in the city. And that's my main focus. But you'll soon find out that we have actually have made the connection to at least this one. And I'm very happy with it so far. So it actually goes right down there into the main city. Fantastic. My main point still stands. I do not want to have any, if at all, any highways whatsoever within my city. Of course, it's you gotta have at least one. So there's that. Um, there's mostly just major uh, avenues like this one that'll take you right out. Expressways, whatever your freeways, whatever you, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. Anywho's, I. I I don't know. This industrial district has so much potential. I'm, I'm looking to turn this side of it, or at least this little area of it, into some sort of water processing plant. Yeah. In fact, this industrial area will probably be the where we power our entire cities, city, city, and our neighborhoods, and we'll probably clean up everybody's shit, shit here. I don't know if I would like to push this little river further inward. I probably don't, but these two holes here that I have dug, these two, <clears throat> I'd like to f fill that up with water if at all possible. I think it'll look fantastic. With water? Fuck yeah. Yeah, that's just... Mm. I've got a lot more that I did not show or cover in the actual time lapse. And it's a shame. It really is. But I don't want to drown you guys with just time lapses and just footage that's irrelevant. I don't believe I also showed you or had time to show you the residential side of the of this neighborhood. Of this little city of its own. Alright? So, left side we've got the industrial district. And that's that. Just industrial. Nothing else. No ifs and or buts. Then we have the commercial and more neighborhood side of things. The, where people can actually live on. The side of people can actually live on. There we go. It's, uh... I like it a lot as well. I don't think we'll we'll have many... I mean, I'll cover this again in, in later on, but... Most of the city will not have any high-rises. We're trying to make... As... At a, Dominican Republic inspired city. Alright. There aren't that many skyscrapers, if anything. There aren't many tall buildings, let's just say that. So, we need to keep it realistic. Our main point, our main goal with creating this big city is to create a efficient functioning city that is realistic. That's it. It can be pretty. Yeah, we'll try to make it pretty. We'll have nice corners here and there. We'll have everything. I mean, don't get me wrong. We're going for prettiness here, okay? We're going to have a lot of landscaping done. Uh, we're gonna, we're just, the main focus is... Pri the main priority is to have efficient, realistic-looking cities, neighborhoods, streets, people. <laughs> everything in between. Nothing is left to chance. The only thing I don't like about this particular district, that's a better name, name not a city, it's, we're too small for that, but this connection to the major six-lane avenue is, I'm not pleased with it, okay, I'm glad I've got at least one avenue going all the way out, this will take the main brunt of the force, this will just carry people in and out of the city, the district, but this thing is just... I mean, it works fine. If you look at it, it's fine, right? 
You go right, you go left, left to come in, right to come out, and or back in if you want to. I highly doubt anybody will do that, but just in case somebody does actually do that, they can. So, can't stop them, but I don't know. It's We'll fix that later on, more than likely. It just doesn't look good. Either that or we'll landscape it. We'll probably do that. This whole area between here, I'm sorry, between uh, here and the city, it's gonna be mostly dense forests. Yeah, that's what will separate our districts, which are actually mini cities within themselves. Santo Domingo is the main city, but this entire island right here, this entire map, this is supposed to be the Dominican Republic to a tiny scale. We'll have cities on the left, cities on the right, cities on the horizon. But I'm not a rapper, though. <laughs> Anywho. That's the industrial district with the residential side completed. We've now actually got a highway. I'm so pleased with this one. It's called the Trumpet Interchange. Three-way, actually. And it looks amazing. Along with this hybrid intersection, all the mods and assets will be listed down in the description, which will make it so much easier for you to replicate, if you wish to. I won't show the city right now, right away. We're going to skip the city. Actually, not even go to it. We're still going to stay out of the city for now. I've worked so hard in that city, it's it's ridiculous. You'll you'll love it when we get there. This side, okay. Hey. <laughs> ah man, I love this um hexagon-ish hex yeah, it's a hex hexagon, yeah, it's a hexagon interchange. Not a circle, but I I don't even know if I showed it. But the previous one looked like shit. I think I did. If I didn't, that'd be a disgrace. That'd be a shame. You know? Are we still moving? No, we're not. Okay, great. And this side. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but this side will be the beach home side. The, you know, upper, upper class side. The, hey, you know, beach resort. There we go. That kind of thing. You know, you own your house right in the, you know, it's a front beach property. You know, fantastic view. It's a very luxurious little area. Of course, it's got dirt roads, but, you know. These people don't give a fuck. They got Range Rovers. They got the worst thing. They got their fantastic houses on this side of the island. And it's all just for them. It's just a private little community that, you know. Well, I don't give much shit about So I just gave them dirt roads. And it looks a lot more realistic as well, honestly. I don't need to waste government spending on that. That's useless. I did move on from that to this. Yeah, looks better now. You didn't see much of it, but connecting into this place was such a pain in the ass that I just decided to make it its own little way. So instead of connecting these two things, like I actually had in the video for a second or two, I just decided it wasn't going to work. It made some very weird design. It just wouldn't work at all. Very unrealistic, very not pretty, very not functional or efficient at all. So... You can't begin a sort of freeway like that, right? You can't you can't just have that weird thing there. So instead I have just given the people the option to get on here. Much better, right? I think I in the end I might turn this one into a one way. I think I've just forgotten. We'll figure that out eventually, but I don't want people to come in to come in this way if you see this road. It's it's a two way. So I don't know why don't have this one the other way, but this is certainly a, a one way into this way, and you know you got two lanes here, two lanes here, and you know that's that's it. You go up here, and now we've got multiple connections or multiple routes throughout the city. And that's what you want to have. So you've got one on the far left, we've got one on the far right, we've got the highway right down the middle, and that's how it's got to be. It's perfect. Just takes the load right there. We've got connection to the left-hand side right away, so people don't actually have to cut anywhere through the city. They can just go pass through the city in the highway, get a left-hand side freeway, and there you go. You're fine. Now, they can't quite go down. No, they cannot. No, they have to get off here. <laughs> get on the bridge. Very small bridge, I know. And get on the right. But they're not even supposed to get off here anyways. Supposed to get off way, way here first. See, it's a much more direct route. Now I'll show you all this in detail later on. I'm very excited for it, but 
This is what I showed you today. That's what I showed you today. And I can't wait to show you the other part, which will not be an episode of its own because it's kind of bullshit that I couldn't all that I couldn't just cram it all in there. I tried to cram it as much as I could, but that's not the point. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't even be cramming anything in anywhere. You know? This thing, I you probably questioning what the fuck it is. I have no idea. Honestly. I just thought it looks good. And, you know, it's sort of like a nice little tunnel. You know, one of those overpass tunnels, I guess. I have no idea. I could turn it into a underpass, you know, below ground station, train station. We do have a train here that matches perfectly, and we could just go tunnel, come in, follow this um, street. So it goes literally rapid. I mean, look, look, look at that. That's just perfect for the most part. Go right down below the street, come out right through there, right? Go straight through the mountain, and you have the station right here. And then you just carry on through the city. And then you pick back out right here. How hard is that? Probably not much, but we'll figure it out eventually if we want to fill this up with water or have a train station. Heck, who knows? We could even have both. The train station right in the middle, water on the sides, have a seawall built in or a sort of land in between. You got it, baby. That'll take no time at all. Whatever it is, ladies and gentlemen, scouts, this... Oh, wait, wait, no. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The countryside. You've got to have that. Every country has one, right? So, as you can see, it's actually got some sort of shape now. The land is very flat on this map, and I love that. The map has always got to be as flat as realistic possible. Realistically possible, because... City's Skylines does not work well with terrain, especially when you're building a lot. Okay, real life houses are designed around the terrain. In this game, not so much. But, even though it's flat, we can still gain some sort of realisticness, and we still have uh, plenty, plenty, and I do mean plenty of actual hills, and uh, overall, the map is not completely flat. It's It's just very, very... Not notice. I mean, look at that. You can see right there the curvature. See that? That's perfect. That's just enough. And then you can see right around here on the edges, which is great. And then we raced around here, and that's exactly what I did. I just raced it. All right, so you can't even see it. Uh, where's the reverse? Uh, there we go. Right here. <clears throat> we've raced the edges around the... Uh, we've just raced everything around the roads. So now it looks not only... Not... Sorry, not... Not as if the roads were just randomly curved out. No, it's just this was the least, the path of least resistance, and um, it just—it's a lot more realistic now. You know, it's an actual path through the mountain or around the mountain. You know, you got multiple routes. But look at that—you go down. If you see up here, you go down and up, and I think it looks great. Well, we will have some uh, houses here. Of course, you gotta have some, but it'll be a very small community here. And these guys now are officially... I did not show this either. I need to show this in the next episode. Everything, all the detail I missed. Connect into the other highway. I mean, sorry, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, yeah, it's a highway. It's, it's, a, it's a very small highway, but... Look at that, huh? The outskirts of the city. Countryside there. Residential here. Main city here. Or here in this general area. But we'll have also a major city here. But... Uh, probably not, actually. Yeah, I'll just have this guy probably go through and connect right here. Yeah, uh, that's, that's probably all we'll do. Out of that, or connect through here, right? This is just... This is going to be deleted. You'll see that. That's just... Ugh. That's very, very bad, you know? Um, we'll just make it connect through here. It just makes more sense. Besides, this is way too close to the edge right here. That's not good. You know? We need more space. Like that. Could even have an airport there if we wanted to. Yeah, but not with that there. So, in any case, ladies, gentlemen, scouts, thank you for joining us this episode, which is just literally trying to show you guys the process of building it, which I don't really... Uh, it's, eh, the fun part's not there. I'm just showing you exactly what it takes to get to where we are, because eventually it's, you know, we'll be able to just learn how... To, you know, we did it, you know, I guess, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Scouts, thank you for joining us. I'll see you guys in the next one.